recording started later. Okay, that's uh, frazzled me a bit. Let's just bring the bishop here. Let's develop the knight. Castle. Let's open up the bishop. Let's attack there, bishop. Bishop, I am a screen small as well. Okay, let's go here with the knight. It's not done that, so we're going to attack this pawn. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board, unless, of course, it's to my benefit. I feel it's okay. It has to be attacked, so he's got to be fashioning some sort of attack process. Hopefully it does, then we can take and then we, uh, he's attacking from the other side. Let's just bring it back. It's attacking the bishop now, so he's got a bit of a frenzy. Oh. Let's attack him just to see what he wants to do. It's giving them something to think about. He's got options, take the bishop, take the knight improve his position, bring the bishop here, attacking the knight. He's not doing any of that. That's an interesting situation for us. I'm going to attack the knight with a bit of a fork on the pawn and the situation. Let's take this knight off the board. It's uh, confusing matters. And let's take this pawn off. Don't really need it there now. And Last but not least, let's get our queen up a little bit. Just off the back, let's take this before it starts getting funky and bring the rook here. Let's look for a bit of an exchange. He looks a bit risk averse, so I'm, he's probably not going to take. He wants to elevate his rook to then double up. So oh, he's not, I told you, he's, not, he's kind of risk averse, isn't he? Let's go with this. And then, shall we bring the knight here? Because if we bring the rook here, yeah, that would work actually. If they get all fancy thinking, let's get rid of the knight so that it's not protecting the rook, then we can take it and get a back rank checker. So he's not going for that. He's actually attacking our pawn. I don't think I want to give the pawn up for free. His knight's looking for this juicy position here with a check on our king. Yeah, my screen's all screwed up now. I'm on one minute, they're on 33. What happened? They just moved. So we can move our knight out of the way, can't we? Shall we move the knight? Let's move the knight, see if we can get some activity going. So he's moving the queen. Okay, so we could go there, but we're not going to do that. We could go here, but we're not going to do that. Let's move the king. Try and keep it simple. He's still got this space here. And they're on 14 seconds at the minute. And obviously they know that we're going to attack the knight. So he's preparing himself to disappear. Let's take here. Could put a check on, but we'd lose the pawn type thing. Let's go here first. And shall we just even this out a bit? Uh, attack the pawn. It's defending. Oh, he's going to get a passer. Okay, fine, fair enough. Let's go. Let's just maybe block it a bit. So he's moving dead quick now, like he's got it sewn up. Let's just bring the king across. And across. And let's bring it across again. So on 13 seconds, it's going to dry out of something at the minute. So let's go. So it's going to champion here. It's not championing there yet. Okay, let's take this. And let's move here before his rook puts a check on. Move back. Pawn puts a check on. King comes up. Rook comes back up. Rook's coming across down to the side. Let's go here. 
six seconds okay so he's not interested in playing that game let's uh, well he's got our pawn let's protect it there's no point doing anything crazy now he's probably going for a draw now yeah okay let's push this pawn it's probably challenging here okay and come back again and let's push could take got a few passes for them to contend with let's give him something to think about and we win on time